the start. So usually I get a clamp and I clamp it to the cylinder head. Clamp it to the head, okay. And so real simple okay. routing there. Okay. Um, you got plenty of space over here. This is this harness is your, of course, your engine harness. Right. You'll unplug all this. Um, this connector is included with the electrical package. You just connect it here. It has a little five-pin connector, and that attaches to the GM engine harness. And you're right. done there. Um, this. Show you how to do it. This has the only when a wire you have to tap is the ignition source. Okay. Unfortunately, this is the, the easiest one to get. Um, There you go. That this on, that this comes off, and you get to your wire. Um, we get instructions on how to do it. But your pink wire is the very last one on the bottom here. Okay. It's pink and gray. You pull some insulation off of it, and you do solder to the ignition wire. Yeah. That's pretty much it. And there's a compressor turn-on wire um, right on this side. You do the same thing. Okay. Um, but you see, I would recommend leaving this one on like this if you can. Because th this has been on there for so long, sometimes okay. uh, things will break. Right, just leave it. Just cut take the, the hood off. Yeah. Just cut the zip tie, and then this okay. could come right off. Okay. Um, I've had some just don't want to come off. Right. Um, just be this tab. You just really gotta don't put too much pressure. You kind of gotta loosen it and shake it at the same time. Yeah. Because it's just it's been there for so long. Because yeah. these tabs can break internally. Uh, did you kind of get any clues on? Are you guys pulling the body? No. Okay. I don't have one. Okay, no help there then. I can't. I don't know what to say on that. We've done one. Yeah. Uh, it's a test. Uh, I don't yeah. know. I think it's a Gen. Actually, I think we did do a Gen 5. We had okay. one. Uh, the bad motor we had replaced. So. Uh, what else we got here?
is, if you want to get this on video, this is your um, fan connector. Um, this will plug into the new, the new fan. And this wire right here is your signal wire. That real small one? Small one, yeah. You'll cut it, and the signal wire will come from this side. I run it inside the grill and put a new piece of loom, come out here, and the wiring attaches to this side because it's controlling the fan. So this side of the wire, you just cut back and just, just disregard. So you don't want the factory to try to control the, the fan anymore. And this fan's worth a few bucks. Yeah, it's a pit okay. store fan. Yeah. So um, you might be able to sell it on eBay or something, but it should be worth two, three hundred dollars. Unfortunately, the signal is completely backwards and different from GM. Yeah, right. I can't change the GM signal to make it right. work. Yeah, that's what I understand. Yeah. Um, in the future, the better we get this CAN bus coating, we might be able to get the tip up to control the fan. But right now, no company has really got to control the fan. They just haven't turned it on high, um, even AEB. Okay. 